So we've got this great new thing in Canada that's making people act like idiots. And that is 37% of the population, to be exact. <clears throat> now, there has been debate in Canada about creating what are called 15-minute cities, meaning like a city where you have an area where there's a doctor's office, a school, a grocery store, a theater, a library, all within 15 minutes of where you live. So that no matter where you lived in the city, you would be 15 minutes away from all of them. Now, 37% of Canadians feel that this would make Canadians less free. Of course, when you ask them exactly how that would make them less free by having everything closer to them and more convenient, they can't actually explain. However, there is a percentage of the population that does know how it's going to make us less free. Because it's like the Soviet Union. And here's the fact. It is. It literally is what the Soviet Union did. Now, this 15-minute city was invented by Carlos Marino. Carlos Marino says that in 2016 he came up with the idea of having a city where everything was close to major population areas and this would be a more efficient, environmentally friendly way of city planning. Except that the Soviet Union had already done it. They were called micro-districts. This is the way the Soviet Union did city planning in its most modern era. Literally exactly what he was arguing for in 2016 in his so-called 15-minute cities. This 15-minute cities literally is just a plagiarism of Soviet city planning. And you've got many progressives, uh, liberals, running around talking about how this is like this great new idea and this would be a thing for the future to make the world better, which it would. It definitely would. Having creating 15 minute cities is would be a step in the right direction. Also, eliminating capitalism and bringing about an entirely new society would be even better, but that's besides the point. You see, the thing is, the conspiracy theorists, which I imagine are probably a particular percentage of that 37% who think it would make them less free, really think this is some kind of plot for the Soviet Union to take over. And that's, that's not hyperbole, that's literally what they're saying. They're saying that this is going to make the Soviet Union take over Canada. And proof that Trudeau was, that Justin Trudeau is somehow a communist. Because communism is whenever you disagree with the right wing. So it's very interesting. So you have this like fear that we're turning into the Soviet Union just because somebody had a good idea. And that's essentially what this is. It's just a good idea. Environmentally, in terms of controlling traffic, in terms of accessibility to lower income people. Oh, well, actually, in, in, you know, in terms of accessibility, everybody gets a benefit. But the Soviet Union did it, so therefore it must be evil. So it's really interesting to, 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 to really see the, 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 the divide here, the dichotomy, the liberals are stealing a Soviet idea while the conservatives are screaming that it's a communist conspiracy. If that doesn't give you a very good picture of modern Western uh, liberal democracy... I don't think much else would give you a more accurate picture. A good idea is having its roots obscure so that the people who actually created it, the enemy, aren't credited, but at the same time is also a conspiracy by that same enemy to control our lives. And that's largely due to the fact that city planning has been done around cars for driving and whatnot. Said, but there's a lot of people who don't have a car because they can't afford one. And that number, that percentage of the population that can't afford a car is increasing. You could tell very clearly from the auto sales that maybe this might not be sustainable at all. I mean, you could make the argument that with a properly funded public transportation system, you wouldn't need cars at all. 
But that would be just a little bit too utopian for our Western liberal democracy. But this is the situation we find ourselves in. The liberals finally come up with a good idea. Except that it wasn't their idea. And they're still trying to take credit for it. And it's still getting denounced as a conspiracy by the communists because God knows anything that would make your life better is a communist conspiracy. Thank you for watching. If you like this program, then please head over to my Patreon page and set up a monthly donation. It's your donations that keep this program running. Also, if you would like, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share in various social media.